Okay, we should be live. Let me make sure that the mic is working fine. Mic is working fine. Uh oh, it had to connect. Uh, mic is let me working check fine. which mic is it. Uh oh, it had to connect. Uh, Oh, okay. Mike is let me check fine. which mic is it. Uh -oh. it let me raise it up a little bit the... more. Oh, okay. Mike is let me check fine. which mic is it. it let me raise... Okay. Alright, let's begin. It's been a while since I played the Dreamcast. I th oh, actually, this isn't our first Dreamcast game. I did live stream uh, Mortal Kombat Gold. Hopefully it's not too loud. Let me just see if it... Uh, let me move this to right here. Okay. Shrink my camera just a little bit. There we go. Hey, what's up, Indiana Jones? How you doing? This game is so cheesy. Oh, shit, that is loud as fuck. And I'll look at let me uh, lower this down a good bit, and let me just a little bit down. There we go. Okay, that should be good. Make sure my mic is. By the way, this song that you're hearing is actually from the very first Death Parade the game. So if you guys don't know what this game is, it's a sequel to Death Crimson, which was one of the worst games of the Sega Saturn. They actually made a sequel called Death Crimson 2, but they ended up turning it into an arcade game in like 2000. And then we didn't get this game until like 2001, August to be exact. And what's funny was the company that published this game had a choice. Either bring Guilty Gear or Death Crimson OX. They went with this game.
Oh, that's gone weird. It was supposed to be... Alright. Level 2. I love this song so much. I gotta skip the cutscene where there's this like girl that tells you where your parents might be at, but it turns out that the girl tricked you. Hey, fucking bastard. Hey look, it's Sword to Stink again, but now he's a regular enemy. Ain't that funny, right? Professor Greg is okay. It's so cool I can play Dreamcast games for you guys. the last part of this level. There's no trace of the professor here. Did that woman trap us? Of course she did. my machine gun yet. Well, I guess I'll use it here. See if I can kill. All the other things just go to hell. That's just funny. Do I... Do you like... Think...
Alright, level three. Skeletons can hit you. Watching the brace, and that's why I keep turning to the TV. Gum so powerful. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> I killed them by accident. I forgot there was a guy there. Alright, here's the boss. It's the lady that trapped us. Yeah, they really trusted this lady. They really trusted her. One thing that's really strange, they take away your machine gun. So you have to just use a regular gun. She starts out really easy, but then she gets really hard. You'll see right now. There we go. Who do you think you are? You're just ordinary people. Watch how fast she is. You're gonna get hit a lot on your first playthrough. The only reason I kind of know is because I've been playing this game a lot. There we go. Not reading the chat. I mean, dude, I'm right here. What's up, Wells? Shaman King? I was going to watch the remake, but I heard the remake was not that good. Alright, the hangar. This is where we meet our friend. You're lucky he doesn't speak, because in Death Ridden 2, he has a really high-pitched voice.
Ah. This level is really short. Same with level 5. I scared the hell out of me when I first played that game. Just him, like, showing up in that corner. <laughs> that actually scared me when I first played this game. Because it just comes out of nowhere. Creepy ass face. If you're wondering what his name is, it's Zaza Admirable. I just call him Zaza Petulia. Yes, that's how an airplane is supposed to sound. Alright, now we're in the desert. For some reason, I'm like up in the sky with no explanation. Damn. Yeah, it's a pretty fun game, folks, even if it's really cheesy. And here's the boss. Done. Look at his head. That's the roll. Alright, so this is the plan. This is where we find out uh, the chick's, Lily's mom's fate. I'm melting! <laughs> that skeleton did survive, right? Yep. Whoa! The guy just randomly appeared. These weird ass things. Alright. Yep, she's dead. Oh, that was the name of the mother. Yeah. She's dead. Alright, well, here's the boss. It's this giant ball. No Master Tracer. This boss is annoying, not because he's a hard boss, it's about his second phase. We have to climb, we have to go on top of, the, of an airplane and it makes that annoying ass sound you're about to hear. God damn it. You get hit. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? That sound. There is a trick I'm gonna try to do. If I can do it correctly, I can kind of see if I can, can I, no, no. It, it's really hard. It's a trick to, to disable that sound. It's like a little glitch that I did discover. I'll try to get through this as fast as I can, guys. I know this is probably ear raping your ears. But it doesn't help this thing keeps shooting freaking projectiles at me. Like, what's that I could have done there? Ah, come on, really? He should be almost dead. Come on. Everyone's going about to be deaf right now. Damn. Damn. There we go. There we go. 
Hey, what's up, Joshua? Alright, we're in the final level in the game. Yeah, this is a really short game. Assange Palace. Who are you? Why do you try us? Alright, I think you meant tricked us. You know Etchison. So, yeah. Apparently, Etchison was the guy from the first game. He never returned to prison, so he ended up like this. And now I gotta kill him. Ah, shit. There we go. That's an enemy from the first game. One CC run. I'm gonna try my best to see if I could do a one CC run in this game. Damn. Well, that ain't gonna help. More bats. Ow. They don't do anything, though. I don't even know why they're even in the game. Hey, look, it's Sword to Stink again. Now, here's a fun fact. I'll let this cutscene play. This song that you're hearing is, act is also from the first game. I'm doing good, Joshua. Now we get. Now you'll, we'll see who we find. It's the professor. Yeah, surprise, surprise, he's Zaza the whole time. I mean, I think it should have been obvious. Now he turns into this weird ass monster. We'll have you dead. One of the only uh, FMV scenes. Ah, right, here we go. There we go. That's his first phase. Now, for some odd reason, we're fighting random ass enemies. Now, look who it is it's the girl again. Oh man, this is gonna be close. How can you have that power when an imitation turns in? You and the truth. Yeah, now he's back to being a human for some reason. Okay, here we go. Now are the true final boss. Yeah. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I gotta do something. Okay, I'm back. Uh, 
Oh, is he at? There we go. Now we're back outside. Alright, open the right door. Alright. Enough convoluted messes. Let's beat this damn game. Almost had, almost one cycle him. They should finish him off. There you go. No death from. That's Death Crimson OX on the Dreamcast. Really strange game, but it's pretty fun. Here's the ending. Keep all your crimson. Even with the power of the true crimson, I cannot compete for you. Here, you take the true crimson. Do you know the reason why crimson exists? It's because humans have a desire to hold a gun and shoot. Desire evidence. I couldn't, I didn't have time. <laughs> we seal crimson in its place. Have you? But as long as humans have a hold of twisted desire for guns, crimson sure to serve us again. Crimson forever. <laughs> That's uh, Death Crimson OX. I should be ranked number one. Yep. There we go. Oh man, how long this took me? Uh, 20 minutes. Well, like 26 minutes. Yeah, like I said, it's a really short ass fucking game. Now, there is one more thing I wanted to show you. Is that in level two, there's actually another, um, uh, Section in level two, and let's see if it's there. Yeah, see, this uh, for some reason stage two is like one of the only stages to actually have like two different sections. It's really weird. So I'll play this for you guys. Not the whole level, just a section. <laughs> hey, what's up, Oscar? How you doing? I already beat the game. I was just showing off like something extra related. I don't know what's going on with the stream today. All right. All righty. All right. I'm gonna. Let me, uh, now I gotta boot up 
light gun or controller? Using the I was using the light gun. I mean, not the light gun, the, the controller for that game. Okay. Now, then I'm going to play some Mortal Kombat Gold. Common, there was a more common logo there. Share my memory card. What the hell? Okay, fine. It's a barbecue Tanya. What's up, JJ? You missed uh, me playing Death Crimson. You missed out a really cheesy game. I could actually show it again if you want to. If you want to see it. Scorpion. 
Oh, I'll show you. Hold on. guys uh, missed it. I already uh, do, did my playthrough of Death Prince, but what I could do is I could show you just some of the parts again. Bitch. Bitch. Boom. Katana. This is the first 3D more combat game. Oh, shot. Oh, that was close. Ah, I fucking bastard. Oh, my punch just went through him. What the fuck? Oh yeah, fine, whatever. Whatever. He just destroyed me that okay, well we'll see if I can come back. I don't doubt. So far so good. So far so good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Uh, he, he did that on purpose just so he could do that shit. Oh, fuck you, Goro. Ah, oh, you fucking bastard. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, fine. Fine. <laughs> I can't even get mad. I can't even get mad, man. He is just so broken as shit in this game. Damn, I was doing good until that. Ah, man. So stupid, man. Yeah, well, actually, that's because Goro was not in the arcade version of uh, Mortal Kombat 4. He was actually exclusive for the N64, PS1, and Dreamcast versions. This is not looking good. Okay, now I can kind of get him like this. Got him. Alright, here's round two of this fight. Ah, you fucking bastard. <coughs> this might be a little too soon for this, but fuck it. Bitch. There we go. 
feet. Ah, here's Shinnok. Nah, you fucking bastard. Ah! What the fuck? I never have any problems with Shinnok. Yeah, this is Mortal Kombat Gold. This is basically Mortal Kombat 4, but they added a couple of new characters. A lot of you like to call it Ultimate Mortal Kombat 4. Oh, damn, he jumped for it. Alright, fucking master. Alright. Let's wrap this game up. Bye bye, Shinnok. Well, funny, I just saw that movie. I just saw Barbie today, and I thought it was pretty good. Same with uh, Mission Impossible. I saw that last week. You know what's funny about that? You mentioned that arcade pilot. Um, th there was a scene where there was a Mortal Kombat 2 arcade cabinet. And that's like the second time this year a movie or a show had an arcade cabinet in Mortal Kombat 2. The other one was The Last of Us. So I don't know what's up with Mortal Kombat 2 appearing in uh, in uh, media as of late. But it is. Really funny. Alright, I'll show JJ a little bit of Death Crimson OX. Even though I just... I just... <laughs> I accidentally did uh, OBS. Oop. I meant to do... Um, I meant to do, um, uh, I meant to do, uh, oh, retro arc. I know, by the way, I'm not stupid. I know where you're from, where some of you guys are from. I'm just, the guys that are asking me those questions, I already know where you are. I, I just, I already know it, so don't even... I already know it. Hold on, guys. I just want to do something real quick.
Okay. I'll replay the first level for you, JJ, and then I'll just kind of exit out, and then I'll, and I'll show you... <laughs> Alright, so I'll replay through the first stage. Did you even see the movie Future King? Or is uh, your one of your YouTubers that you follow told you that? Let's say that. Ah, missed the damn machine gun. Yes, I did saw the move. Hey, hey JJ, so apparently skeletons are made out of glass. <laughs> Here's the main villain. I his name is Zaza Admiral, so you know what I call him? I call him Zaza Pachulia. <laughs> this guy's name is Sword to Stink. Well, let me use the machine gun. Oh shit, I don't have the machine gun. Oh fuck. He looks like Gildenster a little bit, yeah. If you want me, you know what? I don't mind being this game again. Because this game is really short. So I could uh, play it through again if you want me to, JJ. But I just gotta do the first level like no day tomorrow. Okay, I accidentally skipped this cutscene in my first playthrough, so I'll let it play for you. Where is Professor Gregg? Yeah, so, th they trust this girl. So, JJ, do you think that this girl is a bad guy? We'll find out. Well, he was also in Animusha 1 as well, Golden Cern. I don't got anything to do today, so I don't mind playing through it. Most people watch it for Ryan Gar- No, actually, I, I, I mainly watch it for Marco Rock. So. Now we got random ass zombies. Hey look, it's sort of stink again. But now he's a regular enemy. Brain stern. <laughs> I need to replay. I need to stream the audio mission games. But man, they can be really tough, really hard to beat sometimes. I don't know why I ever played through uh, Dawn of Dreams though. Cause that game is really fucking long in my very first in the in the in my first in a normal playthrough.
<laughs> I just realized that they have Dreamcast logos in their stomach. What's up, right? Yeah, the, yeah, to no one's surprise, JJ, the girl was back. <laughs> so these are gloves. Where'd she go? Oh, well, we're gonna find her in the next stage. So now this is Metal Gloves. Metal Gloves, the leader of the group. Wait and shoot. His hands, his hands are clipping through the floor. Uh. There goes the professor who we were looking for. Alright, now here's level three. First time ever, I'm playing through a game twice on the live stream. I rarely ever do that. <coughs> Unless it's like a fighting game or something. Ah, ah. Skeletons kicks of death! Your would be anyone in Bastard, just saying. <laughs> I know, right? Why don't you just, I don't know, run away from the building? I didn't realize this gun was so powerful. <laughs> I killed him, JJ. Oops. <laughs> uh, well, he's back alive. Don't worry. On that, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna shot him again. Get some points.
So here's a fun fact, JJ. This game is based on the first Death Cruiser, which is like one of the worst games on the Sega Saturn. So they made a sequel on the Dreamcast called Death Cruiser 2. But all of a sudden, what they decided to do in 2000, they re-released that game in arcades and, and made it into an arcade game. And they made it, gosh, shot him again. <laughs> Death Crimson OS. And what's even more funny was the company that published this game had a choice. They said you could either release Guilty Gear or this game. They went with Guilty. They went with this game. This, there's, here's the girl you were talking about. How dare you trap us? I don't even know why the fuck would they even trust a woman dressed up like this. All right, so here she is. She starts off really easy, then she goes eight shit. You'll find out what I mean in just a sec. <coughs> Watch this. Look how fast she is. And she starts kicking you. God damn it. Ow. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not getting no death from this time around. Oh, she's dead. I have no idea. Ah, <clears throat> uh, here's level four. Pack. You should be glad that he's not talking here. In the original Death Cruiser 2, he has a really, really annoying voice. You like the Boston Bruins? No, I don't know. I laughed when they choked uh, this year. Won 65 games and were eliminated in the first round. That's hilarious. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a no death run. No way. This game is really beat. <laughs> Holy shit! Be my ass! Holy shit! Goodbye. Yuri, cure. Get on. And by the way, this is what the airplane sounds like in this game. I guess they forgot to change the sound effect before they poured it into the Dreamcast. Alright, so now we're in the desert. By the way, that's actually the first time I've died in this game in like maybe... In a good couple of years. I don't know, this game's whooping my ass. So now we're flying Barbie here. A shit ton of them. And for some reason, I'm like up on the sky. Yeah, figure that one out. This ready. And now she here's the main guy. There we go. <laughs> Look at his head. They definitely had a budget, huh? Alrighty. So level five. This is where we find the main girl's uh, mother and we find out if she's alive or not. I'm uh, melting zombies, look! <laughs> Poor skeleton, he didn't have a chance. <coughs> this is where we find out all the enemies we're facing are human.
I don't know how the Jets will do. Yeah, she's dead. We hardly knew you, but she's dead. Ah, here's the boss. It's this giant ball called Tracer. And not to be confused with Tracer from Overwatch. Now, I'm gonna try to see if I can get rid of this stupid sound. Let's see if I can. No, I. Maybe it doesn't work on an emulator. I hope you don't go. I hope you don't get. You turn deaf, JJ. I'll try. I promise I'll beat this boss as fast as I can. Ah. Faster. Ah. <coughs> We're almost done. Hang in there, JJ. <laughs> no, his ears are probably bleeding from the sound. Damn it, man. There we go. Bye bye, Tracer. Yeah, right, here's the last level in the game. Who are you? Why you tricked us or try us? I am Asam, a friend of Etrus's. So. Edgy Sin was the dude was the main dude from the first game, but he's apparently dead and he's been possessed by a by a monster. Here he is. I shot him in the nuts. I'll do this. There we go. That enemy is from the first game, by the way. <laughs> I just want <coughs> I just wanted to see your reaction. That was my reaction too when I first played this game. Like what drugs were they were on? It's sore, it's sore to stink again. And this time he's actually a legit boss. He's gonna slice me up. Whatever, he's dead. Do I play the Tales games? I've only had beaten two. Tales of... Uh, Tales of Hearts R on the Vita and Tales of Arise. I do plan on playing Tales of the Abyss soon. Okay, so now we get to the twist of the game, JJ. I don't think it should surprise you, though. They kind of do. Yeah, they do. Now you think about it, yeah, I think that's kind of where they got Zaza from Terminator. I was waiting for you. Glenn, Glenn, uh... Then the biggest was a game. Yeah, look! The professor all along was Zaza Pachulia. Oh yeah, Vesperia, that's another one I gotta play. Now he turns into this weird ass monster. <coughs> ah, here we go. Gonna get this bad boy ready. Ah! 
fucking master? That bleeds me. You know, there is an, an actual arcade cabinet of this game. It's really rare. But I've actually seen videos of some people playing it. Hey, look, it's the one, that girl again. He's back for no apparent reason. Now he's back to being human. Ah, right, here we go. Here's the fall, the true fall of also the game. There, right, that's phase one. Now we're outside for no reason. <clears throat> well, here we go. Hot damn it, it's kill us. <laughs> uh, there you go, I beat it again. Except the only problem was this wasn't a no death run. Oh, the ending's hilarious. Kyo, our prisons are disappearing. Even with the power of the true crimson, I cannot compete with you. Here, you take the crimson. The true crimson. Do you know the reason why crimson exists? It's because humans have a desire to hold a gun and shoot. The desire is evidenced by the fact to come this far. You seal the crimson in its palace. I mean, while well, Zaza, SML gone. But as long as humans hold a twisted desire for guns, Crimson is sure to serve again. Crimson forever. Yeah, so apparently Gene Storm from Outlaw Store has a twisted desire for guns. <laughs> oh, this fucking game. It's a fun game, but it's so fucking cheesy. But since we still have a lot of time, I'm going to show you the first game again. I didn't know Death Run early on. Maybe I should clip that part and upload it. Alrighty. Oh, nobody cares. See? See right there? BGL, I actually looked up on it earlier in the stream. Alright, guys, so I'm going to show you what the first game was like. I already showed this off not too long ago, but I'll show it to you guys again because it's something to be seen. And then we'll play some Primal Rage on the GameCube. Here we go. Here, here we go.
Yeah, I got through that game really fast, but I that was actually my second playthrough of tonight. I already played through it earlier tonight. Okay, so here we go. I really want you to see this opening for your own eyes. Okay. It's taking too long. Let's just get to the game. Oh boy. Here we go. I don't even know if I can... Ah! It's just so hard to control this fucking game. Oh god, I almost shot someone. This is... I, I'm just in disbelief. I'm in this book. I didn't even shot him. What the? F <laughs> well, clearly, he's shooting everything in sight. I mean, they had to start somewhere. <laughs> I got one of them, so that's good. God damn it. He sounds like, doesn't that sound like Kenshin Amura when he does the Oro? This looks like a Flash game. This is a three, this is a Sega Saturn game to come out in 1996. But believe, I want to tell you guys a story about this game. In Japan, because the Sega Saturn was so, po was so popular, people in Japan could not believe this game actually came out. And so what ended up happening was, people actually bought it, and they couldn't believe how bad this game was. This is just... I just have no idea... Like... They really made this, and they're like, yep, this is gonna sell. Um, yep, that's game over. The level of music is on. I know. Yeah, believe it or not, the music's actually not that, not that, that bad. You know, it's funny, the guy who made the music actually has a YouTube channel. Yeah, that was rough, right? <laughs> I'm gonna see if, it can, if it'll play the intro. The irony. Here we go. It is the intro. <laughs> yeah, but it's freaking hilarious. So, <laughs> Full name, Combat Etchison. The, uh, the... The guy that you're seeing right now was the guy that we killed at the end of Death Crimson Alex. He's actually the main character in this game. The Crimson. Yeah, it's just one bad game of overall a great system. And now you see why it was never released to the US.
may recognize this song. It was in the second game. There goes the crimson. So before I go off, let's play some Primal Rage. Let's play the fighting game that's way fucking better than ARMS. Some Judge Drake shooter. Yeah, I actually have it on PS1. I haven't played it yet. Bye bye, Armadon. Yeah, he's really nice. He's a really cool dude. The guy who made the music, he's a really cool dude. There's a little glitch that, invo oh, that involves Sauron and that makes him like super OP in this version. Oh, 
of a chugging right now. That's what that's all about. Boom! Sauron is starting to become like my main now. He used to be in town, but now I just use Sauron. Because he's just a fucking beast. What's up, Arcade? What do you notice? Know what? Well, and, and there was a visit. Oh! The reason for that was because when you perform a fatality, they turn into ghosts, and they end up actually dead. When you attack them, it does twice more damage. That's why you always wanted to finish them off. Yeah, as I mentioned numerous of times over this game, originally Necrosan was supposed to have been the final boss, but they ran out of time. So at the last minute, they turned the whole final boss into a boss rush. played through Primal Rage 2 a lot, and I've, I've encountered Necrosan a lot. I just did a playthrough of Primal Rage 2 and I fought Necrosan at the end of the game. I don't know why the eating is off in this, ver in this, in this version. Oh shit! See, look how much damage I do now. A, w a lot more. Vertigo. Oh. I know, right? Hungry as T-Rex. He's the god of hunger. I do have the Saturn version of this game, but it's really difficult. I have a hard time beating that game. Oh shit! He just freaking, uh, he got me there. So, Blizzard and Chaos are our last opponents. Bye bye, Armadon. Chaos, so Blizzard's our last opponent. Ah! Ah! Fucking bastard! Ah, you fucking bastard. Eat my bites, bitch. There we go. Alright, one more to go. Blizzard. Here we go. And we're done. There you go, that's Primal Rage. Sauron, the uh, T-Rex. Uh, I'm dying. What's up, x Dot? Well, I do all about to end the stream off. I've been live streaming for. Damn, I've been live streaming for an hour and a half. Wow. It's one of my longest streams I've done in a while. Be 
piece of soil. guys i am so done live streaming today we i've live streamed uh, for an hour and a half so thank you jj uh x dot rk pilot and others for joining take it easy video game 58 and i'll see you guys on my next stream peace